did play, he played Bayonetta in Smash 4, likes these characters that can kill you pretty early. Uh, Don't we all? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, he was saying he wanted to try this character out. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Bonzi going in with this downer already off the start. Quick 11%. Quick 11. Not getting the full potential of that move. Yeah, and there we go, though. A lot more hits connect on that one. He's up to 24. But now, like I was saying in the last set, swords are a big issue for some of the characters in this game, and Yoshi is kind of one of them that has a hard time without any disjoints of his own. It can be difficult for him to close the gap on these swords. Oh, definitely. I think it's been a struggle for Yoshi in all the games, but uh, specifically for in this game. Yeah, and we're seeing SD guard go for a lot of top deck uh, menus here. You know, just pressing menu, pressing the first option, and hoping it works out for him. Yeah, Back maybe there. hoping for one of those early kills. Yeah, I mean, he has so many options that can be deadly for Fonzie, especially at 125% already. Using the side beat pretty well here, not a whole lot of lag on that move, and it's a pretty long range one to space out Fonzie. Yeah, he, he actually broke the armor the previous uh, time Fonzie tried to get back, and uh, if he followed that up quickly, he could have taken the stock there, but yeah, in setting the him off a second time there. All the way back the to zoom. the stage. Oh, what an egg from Fonzie, though. The egg to up smash confirmed. He doesn't find it. Down tilt. What's going to be the tech choice? No, he just calls out the jump with a nair. I like it. I like it. Oh, that's okay. tries scary, but it still has a double jump. Yeah, tries to cover everything with that down air there, but uh, SD God just kind of weaving around it and uh, getting back to stage. Which is lucky for him. F2. Very good move, honestly. It reminds oh. me a lot of Snake's F2, but like with a sword this time. Oh, with uh, from Hero? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yoshi's uh, up tilt as well got really buffed in this game. Yeah, good combo star. Gets some pretty good combos off it with the up air. But now Accelerattle going to be the uh, buff here for Hero. He's able to go so far out there. Now, I, I, I like uh, Fonzie throwing out these eggs, just trying to catch SD God's drift here. I mean, uh, the speed that you get from that buff is, is so much. Sometimes it's hard to control. Oh, oh, what a oh, tech. nice tech. Those, it looked like he tried to cross him up with an up air, but he did not get the cross up and up smash out shield for Fonzie. He's going to give him the lead. Yeah, he's, he's uh, down to his last stock right now. So, and uh, Fonzie's just piling on the percent right now. It looks like this game could be over pretty quick if SD God doesn't Ooh. do something. Yeah, and, and as, you know, that definitely would have killed even from across stage. Astro actually going to be the play here. It does get the stock. Like you said, a great, great option move. there. And uh, SD God is back in this. He just needs a couple of those. <laughs> that move does also so much damage. Neutral B. I have not put in the time to learn all of Hero's actual special names. That is my bad. Because Kaklay, <laughs> rather... He gets the down air to punish it. Okay, yeah, just trying to put pressure in there. I think you can just charge smash attack in it. And you can, but you have to kind of time it on the release, which can be difficult if you aren't familiar with the timing. Yeah. You know, down air lasts for a long time. Uh, They're almost killing, but... Yeah, if you don't go down B, that, that would have gotten killed for sure, but it would have been a little more risky. Ooh. Oh, yeah, drop down. so smart. It will be... Uh, the, the cheese from Hero there. <laughs> yeah, we but gotten, we've all been hit by that a few times. Notably already. out of mana right now. Yeah, he was in trouble. He, he didn't have a lot of options there, but... All right, well, he's just going to nair there and send him back off stage. Yeah, well, the thing was, as he got started up a forward air, but because Hero's normals and aerials are actually pretty slow... That's right. It didn't quite reach Fonzie in time, and the nair was able to take that stop. Yeah, you can't beat out a lot of moves with Hero unless you space them out correctly. Yeah. And uh, just Fonzie stuffing it out with that air, Nair, which still just has great frame data. I think it comes out really frame fast. four or five in this game. Yeah, really fast. Eight, and honestly, pretty strong on the startup right there. Yes. Uh, that move had three hitboxes uh, in Smash 4. I don't know if it's the same in this one, but there was a, a, ling a lingering end hitbox, a middle hitbox, and a... You know, initial start. strong start. Oh, he oh no. <laughs> immediate bounce runs straight into the egg and puts 11% onto Fonz. He says, as I had my exit this morning, you look a little famished. Here's some eggs for you, man. Yeah. And uh, something interesting about bounces, it actually increases Hero's weight as well. Does it really? Yes. 
Oh. So uh, you'll see a lot of heroes go for it, even in matchups where they don't. Um, there are no projectiles. What? Oh, that covered the ledge. Oh, that's stupid. Oh my god. Fonji taking a second just to look to the sky, rolling his eyes, says, "Are you serious right now? That hit me." Yeah, you, got, you gotta look out for that. That is such a Ooh. strong move. It does amazing damage. It covers so much. It has armor on it. Um, I think most of Hero's best moves are his, his neutral and his side beat. Yeah, those two moves themselves are insane. Added to what he can get off the menu, this character's still pretty scary. You know, a lot of people have kind of been on the, you know, rest from the Hero hate saying, oh, okay, well, you know, he's not that great. He has some RNG to him, but, you know, his his normal moves are pretty slow. If he doesn't get good RNG, it can be difficult sometimes. But, like, his non-RNG stuff with his side and neutral B are actually really strong as well. Oh, definitely. Okay, and Fonzie just gonna barely make it back. SD God not committing. And he could have gone out there and uh, punished that because uh, Fonzie had no options there. But, uh, uh, you know, sometimes that can be a little scary to go out there, especially when you're in the middle of a tournament set. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And he's definitely winning this set, so he doesn't need to throw uh, his stock away with a, a risk like that. But uh, Ponzi is putting back on the percent right now, and he uh, is. Oh, he's gonna okay. make it back. I got, I got excited shot. there. I got excited there. You know, the heroes. Ooh. Oh, getting the spike hitbox there. I was gonna say I like the speed reading from SD got off stage, and looking for the zoom, and then recognizing it's not there pretty fast. But it looked like the speed reading was all on Ponzi with that forward air. That's right. Yeah. And uh, okay, Ponzi landing with that command grab. Uh, Jab just rolling straight through the egg attempts. So that was really smart. But Nair into a reverse Nair from Fonzie. A third one coming out. He leads the yardage with the up smash as well. He is all over SD God right now. Yeah, SD God cannot find any breathing room right now until he finally landed that side B there. Yeah, and really, he got such an early first stock off of Fonzie. But now that Fonzie's kind of recognized the, the, the danger he's in, he's played very defensively and not died all, a second time. But sitting at 100. And 87%. I wonder if SD Gods are where the heroes up though may start killing pretty soon. Uh, I don't know. It seems like uh, Fonzie maybe he probably has some experience with this, but he was caught off guard by some of the things that Hero can do. Um, I think he's pretty aware though that a lot of things will kill this percent. He's at almost 200. Yeah, and see ya. No, a back oh, no. Oh, SD wow. God. The Yeet was not strong I'm, I'm enough. Gonna, I feel like I should tell him after this that up though kills. I mean, like, I, I guess I've only ever seen it really kill with Boom. Maybe it doesn't kill normally. But still, 200%. Yeah. Okay, Fonzie, uh, I, I like the, the, how he used Dare there. He didn't quite commit. Okay, he's yeah. just going to get that Fair into the up there. that's going to be true. SD got dropping this set. Fonzie giving us a little nod, smile. He says, yeah, I did that, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, Fonzie actually one of the first players I, I met at a local. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I've known I, that I guy for so long, actually. Oh, yeah, he's been out. He was out here early in Smash 4. I think yeah. the first local I ever went to, which was about two or three years ago, I met him at, and I also main Yoshi at that point. Oh, so okay. uh, We ended up in bracket because <laughs> Yoshi. That's pretty good. Yeah, we've action. been playing. He lived in the IE where I'm from, uh, like, for the, a good while in Smash 4 with his brother Spanky. And he actually used to host tournaments up there, so I used to go out to those and stuff. Dude's been super cool for as long as I've known him too, so it's good to see him still out here and competing. Yeah, yeah. So that that tournament I went to was at. Do you remember when? Uh, I think it was MSM was at. Uh, Gardena. The Dave and Buster's. Oh, Falcon Punch Friday. Yeah. Fal oh, it was Falcon. Punch